I want to make one last improvement to this class, and it has to do with what's known as const correctness. Um, and that really just means that the state of your class is determined by its data member variables. And if you don't change those variables in a method, then that method is considered to be constant. And it, it can just make your class easier to use. I won't go into all the details, but it's something that's pretty easy to bake in at the beginning and kind of harder to go back through after your class is in use and make it correct. So the way you do that is after the parameter um, declaration you just add the const keyword so that basically says that this method n sex nanoseconds does not modify the state of the class it doesn't change these member variables so we just do that for all of them and you can see I've already done some helper method down there and it's just letting the, the compiler know that the that's that these functions do not change anything and once you've done them here you also need to do them for in the .cpp file, you just put the same keyword in the same place, just to, and you spell it correctly. And one more. Okay. And if if your function does uh, modify some does modify a value, um, see here we're not modifying the value; we're just dividing it, it's creating a temporary, and it's returning that temporary. We didn't actually change m time in nanoseconds. Um, and if you did and you tried to mark it constant, you would get a comp uh, compiler error. Okay, so that's it. Just wanted to po point that out, something that's really technically incorrect. Um, and it just can affect users of your class that happen to have an instance that's constant. And then they go to call uh, a benign function like getting the value. And they get a compiler error because you didn't tell the compiler that these functions were constant, don't change the state. Okay.